Morning. Morning, Fred. Today's Wednesday. Uh, obviously, yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesday, we were supposed to go out to one of my counts and start uh, trimming some of the bushes there and, you know, the plants and shrubbery around there. But uh, yesterday was a complete wash out. It pretty much rained from, I think it was like 9 o'clock, 9, 9.30, somewhere around there, all the way until 8 o'clock last night. So uh, the whole truck and trailer never moved or anything. So uh, today is the day for pouring, uh, pouring that patio that we just set up on Monday. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. We're going to unload the skidster. Obviously, we don't need the skidster. Um, I have a couple tools in the bucket of the skidster, throw those in the back of the truck, load up the strike off. Then we're going to stop at Schmidt's, get some uh, rebar wire mesh, and then uh, stop back at the job, hang some plastic up on the garage. Put our dowels in, put expansion joints in, and uh, just uh, wait around. Not really wait around, but uh, wait for the truck to get there and uh, we'll get back to it. Pour, uh, pour this decorative concrete that I've never done before. So a little nervous, but we'll get it done. I also want to give a, a, a thanks to all of you guys. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, we just hit 25,000 subscribers. That really, that is really awesome. I would have never expected to be at 25,000 this quick. But uh, here we are and just keep on making our videos. Me and Fred here. So thank you. Thank you guys a lot. Also with yesterday's rain day, I was, uh, I stopped at my New Holland dealer and picked up this uh, new AC line that blew up on the machine the other day when I was out brush mowing. Definitely wasn't as expensive as I was thinking. Um, Still pretty pricey for two feet of uh, hose. It was 200 and some bucks. You just can't beat comfort. <laughs> comfort is priceless in my opinion. So we'll get this line thrown back on there. And uh, I'm going to see if there's somebody that can come to the machine and recharge it instead of dropping it off and waiting on it. We'll see what, uh, see what we can find. I know the New Holland dealer, they gave me a number. Uh, phone number to give uh, their guy a call, but I'm just not sure if he'll come to like a you know a residential area to come redo it. But we'll see. Also, uh, Jaron's gonna have some soaking wet feet. I told him to bring some extra socks. I forgot the boots outside all day, and uh, sadly these were sticking straight up and down, and caught every drop of rain that we got. These my boots, yeah, they're wet too. <laughs> So I will be bringing extra socks with, that's for sure. Balance like a cat. Mm. This thing smells like a dirty gym sock in here. Oh, that is rough. What is that smell? Yeah, I will uh, definitely be putting air freshener in here and Figuring out what the heck that smell is. That stinks. Probably because it probably because it just rained, and I'm sure this thing isn't exactly the uh, most waterproof. All right, so pretty calm. Get over here. Come on. Bring the thumper. Pull the thumb alongs. That was close, I almost hit the back window. That, broom, shovels, tripod. That thing just wants to keep standing up. What's that commercial? The blue pill or something? Must have taken some. Bring my paint, my level. Bring these extra pins. Oh, that's great that the roll of electrical tape was sitting in water. It's probably junk. Bring our extra nails. Oh, that is just wonderful. The whole box is soaking wet. 
wonder how, uh, how many of these are going to be all over the back of the truck. We'll just set that right there and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> well, I'm opening up the windows and letting this thing air out today. That's nasty. Like literally a dirty gym sack. Go until you feel something. Oh, felt something. Wow, does this thing stink. I did buy this machine from a, a dealership, but that dealership was out in the, the boonies and uh, kind of assuming that that machine must have been on a farm. I'm sure some old farmer had that thing was pushing cow poop around and I did get a detailed once, but uh, they must have not gotten everything. Yeah, we'll get these ramps put back in the trailer here. So that they're not in my way when I go to get some wire mesh and pull the wire mesh out. Fred, do you want to help today? Oh, too bad you don't have thumbs. Hey, if you had thumbs, you'd be coming to jobs with me. Free labor, I feed you, so I guess it's not free labor. Not free labor for me, but you have to work for your money. You just can't be cute. Yeah. All right, like, so I got an extra 2 by 4 in there for striking off the sidewalks. This pile needs to get cleaned up here sooner than later. But then I also have an aluminum strike off. Aluminum screed that will be nice to have for today. I think this is a 14 footer and the patio is 15. So we'll make it work. What else do I want or need? Come on, Fred. Do any of you guys have that problem where you can clean something and it seems like the blink of an eye is annihilated again? Seems to happen to me quite often. So, I'm gonna want my plastic. Want my plastic for sure for uh, taping it up on the garage. So when we're throwing a release, it's not getting all over the garage making a giant mess um oh i'm gonna bring my wheelbarrow with me too for uh for the truck to wash out into which is full of a bunch of crap right now we'll just stop over by the garbage can and empty this out this was one of those days i was just in a rush needed to clean out the back of my truck for a different project and the wheelbarrow was the closest thing to me, so I threw all my garbage in here. And now it's, as I would say, future Michael's problem. <laughs> Ooh, that garbage is ripe. Hey, can't always think of the positives. At least the skid serve smells better than the inside of that garbage can. Alright, wheelbarrow's loaded. What else do we want? I'm going to bring a gas can too. Also, uh, this note's for my mom. Um, yes, I am taking your gas can. Yes, I will refill it when I get back home. Yours is just conveniently filled right now. All right, trailer's loaded up. Or, well, with the basics right now, we got our wheelbarrow, gas can, plastic, uh, got tape, um, spray adhesive for the expansion. So, all right, let's uh, let's run off to Schmidt's and uh, go get our wire mesh rebar, and then we'll head off to the job and start taking that, taking care of that, getting that ready. Uh, it is a little bit late. It is a little bit later in the day. Uh, I, concrete's not till 4:30, so I was doing some other odds and ends this morning. It's 11:30 right now, so. We got plenty of time to head off to the job, get all of our dolls in there. I'm gonna bring my laptop with me, do some editing while we wait, and then uh, we'll go from there. But we'll see you guys at Schmidt's. Morning, Jaren. Morning. You excited? Sure. All right, Jaren. Two sheets of this wire mesh. You got two? 
Don't scratch the truck. That's good. And then we'll grab uh, three sticks of three A's. Put them on my truck. Huh? Put them on my truck. Yeah. No. How have you been, Steve? All right, how are you? Good. Get those in there, Jaren. Oh, right in the puddle. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Good. Oh, you gave me a broken pail? Oh, you just gotta pull it back. Jaren, it's all about technique. Let's see, watch. You grab a side, and you, ah! It's like grabbing a fish out of the water. Ah! Why are you just staring at me? Huh? When are you gonna get me a shirt? When you work for me. You know what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. See you later, Taz. Make sure it doesn't blow up. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say that. Put it in the back seat. Yep. Maybe put it underneath your seat. <laughs> you're so funny. I am hilarious, Jaren. <laughs> Two sheets wire mesh. How much uh, wire uh, rebar? Three, three, three eighths. Mm. Two wire meshes. Anything else? Foam expansion. Okay, so we got all of our stamps, wire mesh, rebar. Where this customer is going with a texture skin. Got all of our texture skins. I got uh, some Trinic stamp shield for sealing this patio later on. A release. So let's head off and get this set up. But first, I gotta jump over uh, Lake Michigan here. Uh, oh, stretch. Oh, it's just like right in front. Yeah. We can just open up the doors, Jaren. Okay, so we just got here to the job. We're just gonna unload all this stuff and. Ooh, almost got bit. Set all the stamps up over here, Jaren. And make sure to keep the face or the. Like the, the, the stamp portion up. So we're gonna have two pieces of rebar in here and then we're gonna cut this individual one up to make it into some dowels. And then obviously the wire mesh go in the bigger spot. Like I said, it rained all day yesterday, but this all, all the water drained out of this pretty good. Why don't you jump up in the back of the truck here? Hand me the wheelbarrow, and we'll start putting stuff in there and take it over there. I got it. I know some guys use uh, bolt cutters and all that. I don't know, this is way quicker in my opinion, and yeah, yeah it makes a little bit of a mess, but. Then just take this little extra bit of uh, wire mesh here and Throw it in by the sidewalk. Doesn't hurt to have too much reinforcement in my opinion. And then when you uh, toss it in there, Jaren, let's take this sheet right here, this last sheet that we put in, and flip it over. This little patio should be good to go for a long time with the amount of reinforcement in here. <clears throat> All right, so Jaren's running around, or running along the bottom edge here, setting up tape so that we have something to tape our plastic to we're probably only gonna go up to here or so with our plastic um when we start hanging the plastic while he's doing that <clears throat> i'm actually gonna cut this two by four right here you only make it six feet wide and then uh use that board as a shut off for when we come in here because we're gonna be we'll take the power buggy in here dump all the concrete and just work our way around and then we'll set this and then we'll just be able to dump our concrete in the sidewalk over here so all right so jaren a little trick when you do that so i'll put my foot here for you mm -hmm. why don't you run a long run out okay try that now if you pull it tight and get it close to the bottom edge there see how well that works Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'd spend 30 minutes just trying to get some tape down. 
You ever seen a cordless grinder? Yeah, Cut two by fours? <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, Jaren. <laughs> Make do with what you got. <clears throat> Look at that technique. All right, he's pounding the dowels in, plastic's hung. I got uh, this cutout right here uh, for a shot off. This, uh, that's where the power buggy is gonna be going in and out of. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much set, pretty much set up here. Um, he's just gonna put the, put the rest of those dowels in there and then I'm gonna have him run the expansion joint. And then, uh, like I said earlier, I'm gonna be working on editing some videos and just kinda, Hanging out until 4.30 when the concrete gets here. All right, so expansion's going on. I gave Jaren a quick little rundown here. Can I give you guys a quick example of what he's doing here? Keep doing what you're doing, Jaren. So yeah, he sprays it onto the concrete first and then he gets a little bit onto the foam and uh, he tries to be as quick as possible with it. Seems to work out the best. And uh, we're just following this bottom edge of the siding because that's where the uh, height of the concrete's gonna be. <clears throat> So while he's doing that, I'm going to start picking up some, uh, some loose ends here and just be 100% to go as soon as the truck gets here. Uh, like I said, it's not a massive job, but it's just nice to have everything kind of picked up, tidied up, and ready to go for when it's, when it's show time. All right, Jaren's just about buttoned up with uh, gluing the expansion on, the foam expansion. And uh, I was going to come over here and tape this edge because it keeps floating around. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but Jaron, he just, he ripped the tape off and it, uh, um, you know, laid it back down. A lot of you guys know that's kind of a pain when you don't have fingernails. You got to kind of keep picking away at this. But uh, I'm going to teach Jaron something right now. So Jaron, when you, when you get the uh, tape like this, before you just rip it off and, you know, lay it back down. Mm -hmm. What I learned from an old timer is flip it over, ball it up, do whatever. And a, a saying that you'll remember for the rest of your life, be a friend, leave an end. Right. So now that when you flip it over like that, it has this little tag here. Gotcha. So hopefully uh, that helps some of you guys out too. Uh, like I said, I learned that, that saying from an old timer and it's something that's stuck with me now. Be a friend, leave an end. <laughs> I just wanted to tape this over because it kind of keeps just flapping around in the wind and be my luck that we don't do anything with it and then it ends up uh um catching catching wind like a kite and ripping all this off and i don't know if any of you guys ever hung plastic on garages but it's usually kind of a pain in the in the in the booty when you uh do this with only two guys it's it's nice to have more than than two guys to hang plastic but that's just uh about set up and now it's just waiting you ready to pour some concrete, Jared? Mm -hmm. All right, we're just waiting on our help and uh, concrete. It's 427, truck's supposed to be here at 430. So let's see what happens. All right, well, Jared's running down to the uh, stop sign down there because the ready mix truck has driven past us once and then drove past the other way. And we can hear him in the subdivision over there. So Jared's running down there. So hopefully next time he drives past right here, Jaren can wave him down and get him here. Show time! Let's get at it. You found us. <laughs> Five inch, please. Thank you. Fix it up a little bit more. You got some.
All right, concrete's just about down. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit more over here in this corner. Do you guys look familiar? No, it's not familiar. He just found us in the street. What's that? He just found us in the corner. <laughs> 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 Eric's a little troll underneath the uh, bridge. <laughs> right. I was like this. Hey, I think we just need like what? Whatever's in the chute? Half well, I half scraped the chute already, so I'll just have all of them bump it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so, all right. Well, we just need a little bit more concrete here. What was it, Eric? I like it. Oh, it's beautiful. You guys do amazing work. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> All right, everything's down. Now we got to wait a little bit before we get on it. What did you think of your first time uh, puddling, Jaren? It's pretty fun. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you get yelled at much? Not much. Okay, well, that's good. So, all right. Well, it's going pretty good here. Guys are jumping on. So... <laughs> <laughs> jumping on the concrete. Yeah, so I'm gonna try swinging, taking a shot at finishing myself, and see whose looks better, mine, Francisco, or Eric's. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yours, Def man, definitely yours. ain't gonna be mine. Yours doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's gonna be all mine. Eric's stamping. Everything's turning out pretty good, right, Eric? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, it's a little too wet going this direction yet, so we're going to take a quick break. All right, guys are back on it. Francisco's doing the texture skins around the edge. Eric's being precise where he puts his stamps. It's looking good, Eric. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this looks like after it's pressure washed and sealed. Watching no be no stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's just putting the last stamp on right now. Turned out pretty good. Come back out here and, and uh, pressure wash this, cut it up, seal it, and away we go. I really appreciate these guys coming out to help me. You know, it's eight o'clock at night and they're, they're out here with me. I really appreciate that. So, got forms, forms stripped off, pins all picked up. There's just one more form over there by Eric that we have to get out, but I'm gonna let him finish stamping. And then uh, we'll get cleaned up and call it a night here. We'll uh, help Eric load up his power buggy that he kindly let me borrow. Obviously, I'm going to give him some money for that. But uh, I really appreciate him letting me use it. All right, that's it for this. All the forms are stripped. That uh, one right over there on the edge of the sidewalk, I'm going to leave that for uh, when I come back. Uh, we had to put this plastic cover here uh, for the release. Because uh, we just got a bunch of rain yesterday and the gutter was actually still dripping. So did that really quick. Uh, like I said, Eric and Francisco, I really appreciate their help. What do you guys got to say? Man, it was good. It was it was easy, good. man. It was good. It was great. Good. Hope you enjoy yep. the video. So while we're on that, uh, nice job to finish off uh, this Wednesday night. We'll catch you guys on the next one.